One-page websites are incredibly popular at the moment, and for good reason. Not only can they be easier to conceptualize and create, but they can give you better results, lower bounce rates, increased conversions, and better overall sharing. In the latest version of Page Builder, we've made it even easier for you to set up and create one-page websites with just about any WordPress theme. In this guide, I'm going to be using a theme called Site Origin North. It's simple, clean, and comes packed with loads of customizations. I have a clean install of WordPress running, and I've already installed the Site Origin North along with Site Origin Page Builder and Site Origin Widgets Bundle plugins. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to install these plugins, have a look at Site Origin's installer plugin. I'm going to start off by creating a page. I'll navigate to Pages, Add New. I'm going to use this page as the basis for our one page website. I'm going to call it Homepage. So the only thing I'm going to show you in this guide that is specific to the Site Origin North theme are these page settings over here. They'll be different for different themes, but most of them will give you similar functionality. The things we're going to be interested in here are first removing the sidebar. To do this, I'm going to go to Page Layout and change from Default to No Sidebar. I'm going to adjust the menu to overlap the text. I'll go to Menu Position and select Overlaps Content. Removing the page title. And finally, removing the masthead bottom margin. After this, I'm going to save a draft of the page. Now we can move to our Page Builder view by clicking on the Page Builder tab. To make things quick and simple, I'm going to use one of Site Origin's pre-built layouts by clicking on the pre-built layout tab. I'm going to enable where it says, do you want to browse the pre-built layouts directory? For this guide, I'm going to use the fitness gym theme. So here we have our page all nicely set up using Page Builder. Now that we have all these rows, we want to start giving them very specific IDs. This is important when we create the main menu. You can enter a row ID in one of two ways. From the main page builder interface by clicking on the spanner icon of a row and entering the row ID under attributes. This row in particular contains the site origin hero widget. So we're going to call it row dash hero, then click done. You can also enter a row ID using the live editor. Find which row you're working on. Then click on the row heading to edit its row attributes and enter the row ID. This row contains information on classes being offered at the gym. So we're going to call it row dash classes. Once you've finished, click done. To navigate out of the live editor view, click on the arrow at the top left hand side of the screen. It's important that these row IDs are unique and properly formatted. Ideally, they should only contain lowercase characters and dashes. We'll quickly name all of these sections, and once you're done, save draft again. Once you're done, publish your page. Next comes creating your menus. To do this, we'll go to Appearance, Menus. Instead of adding pages to our menu, like you'd do in an ordinary multi-page website, we'll use custom links to link to the different sections of our home page. First things first, I'm going to give this menu a name. This menu is going to be used for our home page, so I'm going to call it Menu Home. I'm going to remove all of the default page links. Now remember those row IDs you gave to your sections? Well, that's what we're going to use over here as the URL. So to link to the pricing section, enter pricing in the text here and hash row-pricing in the URL. Then click Add to Menu. The hash must always come first and after that goes whatever ID you gave to that section. Let's go ahead and add custom links to all the sections you've created. Make sure your custom links are in the correct order. Once you're finished, click Create Menu. The last thing you'll want to do 
is assign this menu as our primary menu location. Now that you've created your menu, there's one last step, and that's assigning this new page we created to be the home page of our website. So navigate to Settings, Reading, and change your front page displays to a static page. From the front page dropdown, select Home Page, which is the page you just created, and then save changes. And that's it. Now we have our home page all set up and ready to go. As you can see, by clicking on the navigation link Classes, this scrolls you down to the Classes section. Clicking on the navigation menu that says Pricing will then scroll you down to the Pricing section. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Rossiter from SiteOrigin, and I hope you've enjoyed creating your one page website with me.